All right. That seems improved. Okay, yep, we're back. I'm back. Just went and reset the internet. Alrighty. I'm back. Hello, Snarder. Did, did I put a collider on the bell? I really should have. I did not. I did not. Okay, let's put a collider on there. I feel like there's a way for me to snap these, but I can't remember. Oh, that'll work. Oh, something like that. How charming. How charming. Nice. Okie doke. So I think it's time to go ahead and package up the character. Get him out. Get him out. Save Fabio. Uh, one. Oh, Bible. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to start a new avatar. to share this. Oh, come on. Now the internet craps out again? I guess because I am uploading something, so it's not making any sense, but still. Shouldn't always slow down so much. Oh, share time, the email. Address here. Oh, we 
that side. Email, you know. This is always the hardest thing for me to crack down for some reason. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Abby is done. Here is the link to the Google Drive folder. Um, I'm sharing. Okay. He's done. We're done. With Vadio for now. What we're going to do next is start an avatar. Start an avatar. And I'll get the template under, where is it? I would have expected it to be there. Should I four? No. No. Funny, must have deleted it. Okay, well, that's fine. No, 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 no. Okay, and that's recovery. Go ahead and shoot this over to our other folder, template blender. I swear I had. a whole temp that I made recently. go and now we can bring in the reference
Do I start from a sculpt on this one? Because it's supposed to be a quest avatar. Um, Review the I think I'll still sculpt. I, I think I'll, if I switch from my standard workflow, I'm going to suffer. It'll just be harder on me for no reason. Okie doke. Let's begin. Time to sculpt. Time to run down to the sculpt. Spend time. Wow, be waiting. Waiting, do, 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 do. Hello, Gunsell. Welcome. Welcome back. How is your day going? We're working on this bird boy. Good, I am, still feel like I'm waking up from my nap, which is never a good feeling. It's like, I just wanna be awake, please. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I'm doing pretty darn good. We finished an avatar today and now we're starting a new one.
Character design caught my attention. Hello, hello, Villanilla. Villanilla, I like that. Love how the lamb turned out. Thank you, Namers. Welcome. Welcome to you two as well. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased for anyone who did not see. We finished the lamb earlier. Here's how they turned out. I am. Ta da! Try to pop open the uh, Unity in the meantime so we can see the actual avatar. But uh, one down and on to the next one right away. <laughs> it's always a race with this kind of work. What a cute lamb. Hope they're not a cult leader. Never know. Never know. Do 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 do. Definitely would like to finish this character quickly, so we're gonna rush and run into it. Do all of you uh, play uh, VR chat? You familiar with VR chat? That's what I make avatars for. For those of you that are that are new, wow. Why is it so intense? It's just that one though. These other ones are working normally. I would expect something to break like that only if something else is breaking. Kind of a normal response. You are on fire. Oh, hey there, K-Sign Phenomenon. I hope not. Fire hurts. <laughs> I play VR chat on and off. And I haven't learned to make my own models. Your videos have been a big help. I'm glad to hear that, Namers. I'm very glad to hear that. It's certainly, there's a lot to learn for these things, so I like sharing what I know. Because it is rewarding to actually make it. I know you have trademarks, Sam, but there's a limit to how thick something should be. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. You take that back. You take that back. Why, why is that so strong? It's like full intensity on that. I made a whole little template model recently. 
CG Churro, hello. I really want to make mod for people, but I just don't get Unity. Unity is definitely a challenge. Um, yeah, there's. It's definitely just a grind. Thankfully, VR Chat does assist with a lot of different things. Um, you know, there there are. They do have some default animators to use, so, you know, it should give you at least like a good starting point, but still challenging. But as long as you stick with it, you know, I'm, I'm here to, I can answer any most general questions. Uh, I have some tutorials as well that might help a little bit. I do have one on just how to upload. I'm just stuck on the rig name, the IDK, what I've done wrong. Um, well, perfect, because I have a video in my YouTube channel just going over how I rig my characters. Perhaps that will help. Um, But there certainly are def are a few things that um, are unintuitive with uh, avatars. Yeah, so if you check out my videos, about eight videos down, I have one on rigging. Definitely recommend checking it out. Um, it's just a lot of like basic features, things to know. I do use an add-on for it, but generally, um, all the features, it should cover everything you need to know for rigging and weight painting. Also, while if you aim to make for VRC, Unity is a requirement to make them work, you can still make models for people if you just want to make something. That's true. That is very true. Excuse me. the top of this yeah, that's much more of a beak beak now I'm trying to make it look like it's they're like touching I've been using Blender for five years, but just lack the Unity knowledge or just where to go to ask people they want to model and random whatnots. Um, well, definitely for a VR chat, there's some great, you know, you can definitely, you could just walk around VR chat and I'm sure people would tell you they want models. <laughs> um, but uh, there are some great like uh, discords, like VR chat traders discord, um, trader as like a merchant. Um, and that's what kind of where I got started uh, finding commissions, at least for VR chat. But VR chat's great. There's people are, are kind of always hungry for a uh, new work.
tail's interesting. It's got these shapes here. Also, my main thing is getting paid. I want to stay anonymous online. Anonymous. I think your chat's good for that. Though, if what I found that really helped me is doing the streaming here, because that way people could verify that you know, I'm a real, real human. Um, unfortunately, scams can be prevalent in this kind of um, space. Any sort of just online work, really. Uh, just keep in mind that that is a good way to prove that you're legit to people. You can probably still remain anonymous, but uh, and do that. Probably should separate the legs and attach this chunk up. Really dipping my toes into Godot again. Todo, <laughs> go toe. Loving the speed, hating the fact that I feel like I have to learn so many things again. I just want to make my creations move, aka okay, play animations again. <laughs> Um, I've seen a lot on Godot. There was a this guy on Twitter or X who was doing some really cool stuff. Um, and then he's he's kind of switched over to just working on Godot, which I was a little surprised to see. You know, I, I was really enjoying his ge geometry nodes work, and then uh, he just switched over. But you know. If you find what works, then can't really blame them. Time for the butt art. Download the latest version, boot it up, and have a fresh project ready in the time you boot up Unity by the time I'm typing. I'm typing code into Unity, might be downloading. It's just that fast. Interesting. That would certainly feel worth it. Hello, Angel Star. Hey there, pal. It's been a while, isn't it? It has been a while. And welcome. How goes it, Angel? Clear access. And trying to learn topology theory, my edge flow slash loop flow never feels right. Sculpting a base doesn't help because I always get stuck on connecting the legs to the pelvis. <laughs> uh, I'll have to. Um, I am going to be making a tutorial sometime, hopefully, <laughs> in like a month or so, um, if I have the time to do a. It'll be like a full course on how I make my avatars. One of the things I'll discuss in there is 
retopology. Um, for me, I definitely have enjoyed sculpting and then retopology afterwards, just because when you're doing, when you're working from like a subdivision, it's difficult because you are doing two things at once. You're trying to find the correct topology and you're trying trying to find the correct shape, you know, and that can be a, quite difficult. Um, but my general rule of thumb for retopology is that all your cylinders should be based on four sides. So it's either a square, of, so four sides, or eight, two, 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 two on each side, or four, 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 four on each side. It makes it a lot easier, uh, and then 32 after that, to um, understand how you're going to connect your, your pieces. It's a little hard to explain without having like a video for it or something. Maybe I'll try to put together a little tutorial sometime um, to show that off. But I can show what I did for my previous avatar here. This is a video we finished earlier. So the topology on the curls was crazy, but for the legs and stuff, you can see it's generally just a, a circle of 16 here. So 16 edges, you can see our faces, edges being a ring, faces here. And then uh, this is also 16 on the arm. And then I just try to identify the chunks of four. So one, two, three, four. These four is one edge. And then one, two, three, four, this is the other edge. And then I can connect it straight up to the other side, which this is a edge of four connecting to an edge of four. It's a little hard to explain, but understanding what your like base unit of resolution is for retopology really, really helped me in, uh, in making my avatars because it, it was a lot more modular. You're like, okay, all my cylinders should be rings of 16. And so, which is basically like a square, right? Square, and that's how you square your circles. Oh, that's so vague to say, but I, <laughs> uh, so I'll have to do a tutorial sometime. But uh, suffice to say, you just got to be a little bit um, specific with it. Give yourself some constraints to uh, to actually uh, understand how you want to connect things. Angel Star, I got a quest too for my birthday. Nice. So I started playing VR chat and now I want to make a custom avatar. So I'm gonna learn. Heck yeah, that's awesome. It's worth learning. It's very, very fun. Too fun. Well, maybe not too fun. But I, I have a lot of fun with it. Um Do you happen to have some time to talk our Lord and Savior Blender? <laughs> blender call, blender call. Not to mention how. Tactically, how to tactically use tries. I'm trying really hard to understand why different modelers use them and where. Um, I tend to use triangles when, uh, yeah, for example, just going back to this other character, perfect example right here in the groin is that like, I can make a, a quilt of quads going across the groin, but because there's the, the dip between the groin and the thigh. In order to make, to flatten it, I went in and I cut these edges in order for them to actually follow that form. Um, so that's usually when I use triangles. Other than that, I do really try to avoid them. Um, though, if I need some extra resolution, so like right here on the tips, I'll triangulate in order to have more resolution on these. Um, there, there. It's very, triangles aren't bad. And the reality is everything gets turned into triangles in the end anyway. Like when it gets brought back into the engine and Unity renders it, it's all triangles again. <laughs> all that matters is how does a triangle help your deformation and uh, 
um, work with what you have already. A lot of people avoid triangles just because they've heard that triangles are bad. And it's like, that's, that's really the only reason. Really, it's just they get hard to work with. Like, they can deform weird. You can't use uh, loop cuts with them. So they are just harder to work with. Um, but other than that, there's nothing apparently wrong with them. Armchair comic case Sam showed up just now. These quads would not be flat in an engine to be tries anyway. However, by setting up like that, Sam has influence on how the tries are formed. So the quad, which is not flat, is broken in two and made flat in the right way. Exactly. I don't care if it's bad. At least I tried. That's the good. That is the right attitude, Angel. Uh, quality comes with time. And the more time you give yourself, the better uh, the more experience you have, the better things look. A virtuous cycle. This model looks great. Keep it up. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. I haven't made that many birds. Bird people. So. Avians. So I'm excited. It'll be fun. Well, thank you. <laughs> Try to be very encouraging because uh, this work can be hard, but it's you can always get where you want to go uh, as long as you're able to be healthy about it. It's got this little pointed thing and two. So it's two, two, got six of these. We'll make a plane. Delete this side. Thanks. I really want to try to have your skill level in Blender. Well, you're certainly feel free to ask questions and uh, run into things. I'll try my best to help. Um, because there's a lot to this, but it's fun. What's that, what's that uh, Parks and Rec phrase? <laughs> People will die of fun. <laughs> Let me take this, duplicate it. One, two, three. Wait, what's the count here? One, two, two, one, two. So this is the middle. Or no, this is the middle. Yeah, I have this backwards, like this.
how long have I been using Blender for? I got really serious about it about um, uh, about three to four years ago in order to start like doing this kind of work. Um, but I, I had some experience with 3D programs in Blender starting about 10 years ago, um, back when I was in college learning this. Um, so I've, I've kind of been familiar with it for a while. Um, this looks so different. I feel like it should be pointed. I feel like this should be pointed. I'm going to start this over. So yeah, I've been using it for quite a while. Uh, initially, I was learning it to do concept art. That was kind of my main reason for learning it. Um, but I didn't like that field uh, long term. Just too too competitive. It's fighting over scraps. We'll have to come back. I need to clarify with the client what this is supposed to be there. I'm also trying to make a horror game, and I don't know how to make monsters, so I'll try looking up the perfect tutorial. Um, if you're looking to make a game, my suggestion would be to do the logic first. Um, get in the game. Understand how the game play should work before adding your art. Um, because it's hard to know what exactly you need. Until you have some experience in uh, making games. So I would definitely recommend just kind of seeing how better to have a weird looking enemy than not being able to put it in, into the game. It may not make sense. But... Okay. That would be my recommendation. Four. Okay, it does have four fingers. And even there, first iteration, keep your model simple, test them so adjustments can still be made. Shouldn't this be 
rotating. Actually, that's how that works. Let's take this and use a bisect on it. That's right. Ah, uh, uh, let's see. Wait, no, it's working now. Oh, okay, it was rotated. It just didn't look like it for some reason. Okay, okay, we did it. We did it. Fine. And then Alt D duplicate this. Making 3D models is probably hard, but I'm never giving up. I, we're not telling you to give up. Certainly want to encourage you. Um, but uh, just keep in mind that uh, you're trying to do a few things at once, and that can be a challenge. It'll just take time. Giving up is for quitters. It's true. They look like fingers. Scary. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Kamar or uh, Kyomri um, showed me a long time ago this uh, the, there's a meme of a heavy from TF2 and he's just looking at his fingers and he's got fingertips fingertips it's amazing if you just Google fingertips you'll you'll probably find it. Ooh, that was a good one. Sometimes it's really hard to get these sharp lines.
Okay, so he's got some feather feathery shapes on his head. And this one here, we can see at least these three main spikes there. So I want to think about how we're going to put those together. Here are the reasons I never left making 3D models. Well, good. I'm happy to happy to have inspired. It is fun. It's very fun. And there's a lot to learn with everything, but it's rewarding. And it's good for your brain. Good for your brain. I feel dumber every day. <laughs> That's when you're blender, blender overload. Blender overload. Let's make a cube. We're going to make a subdivision and subdivide it once. Apply that, add another subdivision, then we will get our data here pointed at the finger. To make it, should I make the map for my horror game in Blender or Unity, the game engine I use to make games? You can make it in Blender, but if you use your engine, you will import your assets to it at some point. Um, there's a process called gray boxing or white boxing, where basically in Unity you make the super, the most simple version of your map that you can, and you literally just duplicate boxes and like move them around and shift them around until you get something you like and you understand like, okay, this is basically what I want. Then you go to Blender and you make your polished version. Um, Cause uh, with games, uh, getting to the experimenting, like testing is basically your, your that's your main priority. How do I get to, to test this idea as quickly as possible and then worry about making the polished version? Uh, yes, movement, I would say probably a good call, though most likely you'll do it in, in conjunction. The movement system, system you'll probably work on for a while. Um, if you can find systems that other people have made and just copy them and use them, or find a tutorial where someone goes over that, uh, I would recommend that. Ah, this one's a mirror. So if I get rid of this mirror, duplicate this.
close up there. <clears throat> because you will not be using your high detailed models for collision detection, etc. C sharp scripting is pretty easy, but I might still look up a tutorial. It'll get more complex as time goes on. It's not too bad to make one thing, um, but making a bunch of things that work together, that's where it'll get challenging. Also, if uh, ChatGPT is what I use <laughs> uh, when I want a C sharp script really quick. Uh, there's tons of uh, generative AI stuff out there now. Just really quickly get something that'll that'll work, or at least uh, be a rough draft. To be honest, I don't like AI scripting because it's not always accurate, so I prefer scripting it myself. Definitely takes some getting used to. Right, right. And I'm gonna hit it with the point zero zero one. Boom, mesh filter, smooth. Do look a lot more like fingers than I'd like them to. <laughs> uh, let's look up some talents. Oh, snap, NPCs today. Hey there, DPS. Welcome, welcome. I did put NPCs mostly just like trying to feel out what in interests people when they see my, my title. Okay, let's not get too detailed with these fingers. But also, hello. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a good one. Doing anything fun today? We're working on a bird, man. Yeah. I do devlogs on my YouTube channel for fun. I think that's a great idea. Being able to uh, have some form of accountability and a community around what you do has helped me a lot. Um, just thought you were developing some non-player characters. So normal models, not just studying. Studying, how dare you? No studying allowed. Yeah, I found that streaming has been probably the best thing I've ever done for doing my art. Um, keeps me motivated. Um, helps me hack my brain so when I sit down from my computer, I actually work instead of procrastinating. Dan and him, Dan and him, Dan and him, Dan and him. 
Make the claws a little bit bigger. Also gonna make the little um, feather. Not sure exactly sure what that is, but procrastinating, how dare, dare you? That is our job as Twitch chatters. <laughs> hey, if not you, then me. If not you, then me. When I'm like really distracted, I'm just watching people on, on Twitch as well. My my oh well, usually I'm watching people play games on Twitch and that's when I that's when I get really distracted. Like Seagull. I'll watch Seagull every now and then. Feeling up for distraction. Should be beveling it. Mean bevel weight. Oh, vertices. I want edge data. That. Then we can put the subdivision up here. I guess down here. All right, there's our feather. I'm doing a multi-streaming right now. That's what I've stuck with. It's okay. I, I, no, it's actually really good. I think it's like, it's a little weird compared to doing Twitch for so long, but I would say I like it now. Just took some getting used to for more than anything. Streaming on Kick, YouTube, and Twitch. Genius. <laughs> it's weird for us on Twitch as well. We now have the multiverse where others can see chat on screen, so many chats to keep track of. Hard work. <laughs> I am cheating. It's all it's all just feeding into my one stream, my one chat box. And there are some smaller tufts on the side. Burb Dragon, just stopping by Burb Dragoon. Kind of, yeah, I don't know what kind of species this is, but definitely got that vibe. Also, hello. Good afternoon. Dragon Burb Z.
I really should ask this species of the of the uh, personas stuff like that was in the neighborhood figured I'd say hi well welcome by welcome G2 key is going uh, going so well we had it over there oh, okay G Q. what is oh games done quick okay heck yeah my brother loves games done quick May not be a bad idea. Some of us idiots have specifics. In my opinion, weight painting is the worst part in Blender. <laughs> it can be challenging. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not. It's just unintuitive. There's no. There's no good. Nothing that you can do that really prepares you for you for weight painting. It's just its own thing entirely. For instance, I'm not just a dragon or a dragon man. I'm a shadow dragon, but not Krogdor. <laughs> he was a shadow. Either way, have fun. You too, Eric. Thanks for coming by. Enjoy your games done quick. Well, I understand some of the it does open the door for true CGI stuff and possibilities, etc. Et yeah. What's their understanding? A vertex has a weight and things can be done, use slash reuse based on weight, not just skeletons deformed, but particles, etc. Modifiers. Even the mask stuff. You can also vertex color, uh, weight paint. I didn't realize how good uh, vertex painting would combine with the Poyomi shader. I'm going to be using and abusing that moving forward. I'm going to take this one, duplicate it. I just want to push the bevel even further, just as a little bit of a chunkier feather. Not quite sure how well this is gonna come together here, but we'll do our best. Really don't want to uh, weight paint or uh, 
retopo those as they currently stand. Maybe the like outside ones, but not the ones on the back of the head. Fun fact, the most used modifier in Blender is the sub sur subdivision surface. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I use, that's pretty much the only one I turn on every single time. Though I am using the shrink wrap modifier a lot more now. That's probably quickly becoming my second most used one. Very useful for retopology. Okay, right, let's make the eye sockets. Actually, let's make a backup copy. was a man just a dragon but he was still trying to... you can have constraints on quest avatars right gonna go stream myself making horror games see ya sounds good angel enjoy your stream we'll catch you later same to you. Enjoy your day. Good luck with the, the game. To look up the performance metrics or because if I can use constraints then I can set up the eyes properly if I cannot then we're kind of screwed this is going to be interesting Interesting. Interesting. You know, another multi-eyed creature. Didn't notice at first the red. Good luck with the eyeballs. I demand realism. <laughs> we'll do our best. <laughs> 
It will be a challenge, though. For sure. I like how the back of the head's looking, though. That's cool. Back of the head is ridiculous. Feel the intersection pressure, my head hurts. Yeah, can you imagine the sinus cavities on that? Where do they even go? I feel a little spike. I'm going to put our cursor right there. Then do object set origin to cursor. Actually, we'll do Alt D. Because that way we can have it share the shape. All right, let's get the hands in. Sculpt there. This is my favorite method for fingers and hands. First, make the hand. Then you make the finger. Scale it down. There. We want the scale to be set. Let me move it up. Make sure we're on local. Apply the scale again, and then we Alt D duplicate. That's how we cheat and save a lot of time, pain, heartache, all that jazz. Alt D duplication. Because when we go in and Alt D creates them as instances not as duplicates. We get to adjust them all at once. Because I'm lazy. Oh yeah, but uh, we should make sure symmetry's on. That's the other hack. And two one y. I mess it up, actually. 
Should still work though. Bad. Bad. Now we're saving time. Hello, Casey. Oh, wait, you were, you were hanging out earlier. Hello, Kisina. Welcome back. Yeah, that's how I cheat. But you can steal that secret from me because uh, it's awesome. Just have to make sure to, to um, well, it'll give you an error when you try to apply it. Just have to make sure you have to turn them into their individual objects when you're ready to be done with them. Oops, I did that rematch. No, that's right. Oh. Very, very dense. Maybe a little too dense for a second, but that should work. That's the best part about 3D. Hello, Nisitia. Welcome, Nisistia. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Also, it looked like my speakers were off. So if there are any notifications, I'm sorry. I have missed them. Uh, I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> but voila. Isn't that handy? <laughs> And you can still scale them and stuff so you get the rest of your stuff made. And then the really cool part, I'm going to duplicate this one, is we can use the local positioning of the object to align other objects inside that space. I'm modeling a crow. Um, it's a client commission. And I'll show you him in just one moment. I'm just going to put that there and then Alt D again. Bam, Alt D again. Bam, Alt D uh, again. And I even scale with fingers, making that quite simple. Uh, but yeah, here's our crow. Not really a crow, crow dinosaur. Um, here's the reference image. This is what we'll be going for here kind of our design. And uh, yeah, we're just adding little pieces and slowly sculpting them out. Should be making good headway. And we can even do the thumb this way. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, are you a VR chat user yourself? Nasicha? Is that how you say your name? Nasicha. Dun, 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 dun. Trying to look at my wrist to understand how I'm doing this, how I should be doing this. The real trick I've realized for hands 
is you don't want the hand to be bigger than the face, like vertically. We're doing pretty good, maybe a little bit big. A little bit big, we want it like right there. It's a little bit small, to be honest. Beef it up again. Okay. Nice. Satisfying. It's coming together quick. Now, the difficulty that we're going to have with this character is that we're making a quest. This is a quest avatar. And so we have a limit. 15,000 for medium. Not much at all. So I think we've got pretty much everything in like a rough position. I'm going to start on the retopology now. Well, if I make it. Are there cutout shaders for quest? Probably. Make some feathers that way. Yeah, I think I do have to start on the retopology now. This one will be a little different than my usual. We're going to be take, making a circle of eight. That's going to be the limit right there. We don't want it any more complex than that. We do need to combine the sculpture first. So let's go ahead and just mesh these now. big difference between what I usually do here is I'm not worried about baking this character. I'm more worried about just making sure I have nice topology or a, a good shape and then uh, but we're not going to be baking it. I just need to know what shapes are there. So I'm not going to go in for like crazy detail like I usually do. We may still bake some of the details, but a lot less than our usual. All right, let's get a start. Call this read topo or so. Hit it with the subdivision surface. No, not subdivision, shrink wrap. Make sure it's set to above surface.
It's all right. This is going to be an exercise in minimalism. Then let's combine the legs. Got this one and this one. Yeah. Yep, we're going to mesh them, combine them. Four o'clock already. I'm going to pinch the knee a little. Okay. Back to the retopo. reason I want to do that first so I can make another circle and put it on the leg. Yeah. 
as we'll need one for the torso. Yeah. Who was asking about retopology earlier? This has been the perfect time to show them. <laughs> oh. If you're there, let me know and I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm doing. Time for me to sign off. Happy blending, everyone. I'm taking notes. Oh, good. I'm happy to hear that, Villanilla. And Snardom, enjoy your evening. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for happening out, hanging out. <laughs> Happy blending to you. We'll see you soon. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so right now I'm using circles of eight. See, I made loops of eight here and here. And the nice part about this is that I know how I can connect things very easily because I have right here this edge of two is right a loop of eight is four chunks of two two here two here two on top and two on the back and you can kind of think about it it's like you have a square if i take a square this is like the basis of my retopology right here of my thought behind it and i hit it with a subdivision you can see that it becomes a um, sphere and this is really the thought process behind it. it's like how do you take something that's square your quad topology and make it curved and you can really see it in this example where you've got your um, corners but you can very easily separate your sections into top front side left right that kind of thing. Um, so when I'm here in my retopology, I want to connect those, at least the sides. It doesn't have to be the same type of side, but I know that I have the front here, these two, and then a side up here, and I want to connect it to this, this side up here. Bam, bam. So we'll bridge those. Now I have this really nice, eat this uh, synergy where these sides go right into each other. One of the most intimidating parts for me is the topo and baking normal data. It definitely is weird to start with, um, but uh, Substance Painter, I, I quite like uh, for it because I think it makes the process a little more straightforward. Um, but almost always you're going to encounter some weirdness like it's definitely a back and forth process i've never i've never done a bake and like had it work the first time <laughs> you know i've always had to do it just go in and try it out a few times and then for the groin here we'll probably need a little bit Additional resolution. I'm going very low poly on this one because it's going to be a quest avatar. Usually I have a lot more resolution in here. But again, I'm grabbing a side. And I know I can use this these two edges because I have the two we already used on this side. There's two in between them. So this is the other side. Do that. 0.6SX0. Anyway, it's just kind of a nice way to think about it when you ha have like, you know that there should be four sides to everything, top, left, right, bottom. Um, and it gives you an idea of where you would want your topology to go. Because if this is the front side, then I'd want this middle edge to be in the middle of that face of that side. Um, and then same with the this left or right interior side, I would want it to be more in the middle. This should be in the middle of the back. 
and so on and so forth. But it's a little more intuitive that way. All right, then connect the hips. We have our cylinder and we can connect the sides together very evenly. Boom, bridge. Oh, I have to do edges. Bridge. Bridge. The reason I'm leaving the middle one alone is because that's for the neck. That does make a lot of more sense. Good, good. Makes the puzzle less confusing. Good. It is definitely, it's, it, it's all comes from knowing that I want my UV maps to be very even. Um, but, you know, you really can just think, hey, but, uh, you really can just think about it in terms of uh, um, ease of use. What's, what is my resolution? What's, what's the base shape that I want to use for this? And just kind of, then you don't have to think too hard about it. This is my basic unit, a square of eight, a square of 16. And I can turn a square into this. Uh, and then if I need more resolution, this is the other um, hack, where if I really need more resolution in here, instead of going in and like adding more edge loops, which I may do, but really the best solution is to take your selection, extrude it, Make it really small. And in this case, I'm going to delete this middle edge right here. About a 0.6. You want to make a loop. And then you can just run your topology, run another loop through. And now it's contained. I can just add as many cuts here as I want. And I know that they're just going to go in this loop on the butt. <laughs> and uh, I don't have, to, don't have to think too hard about it. And I'll probably do the same for the pec and the shoulder too. What are we at resolution wise? 356, okay, doing good, doing good. We have 15,000 triangles we can use. Oh, actually, this is technically double. Add one more cut there. These ones I'll have um, move with the shape of the character more than would, a, nor, would normally. Something like that. Okay, now for our shoulder, I know I want more resolution in there. I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to add a cut there. Adjust this to the shape of the shoulder. This. very middle of the shoulder. So it'll be on the base of the shoulder. Okay, then Apply it again. I don't want to tessellate the bottom edge. Just want the top. So grab this, deselect those, and then, um, you know, what? 
Do I want it there? Yeah, I think may as well. We'll see. I'm going to indent it. Boom. And then we can take these points here, run them up. And then run a cut there. Boom. Okay, now it's messy. So we'll do our other method for cheating, which is we're going to isolate the mesh, go into sculpt mode, and use our slide relax tool to just hold down shift. With As long as you have the slide relax selected, it's going to use the smooth in a slightly different way. Make it nice and even. There we go. Now we got a lot of resolution in our shoulder without going overboard. Bada boom. Wow. Cheating. <laughs> it's the way. It is the way. In fact, I'm going to do a little bit more of that. leg. Just get it nice and even on the butt and on the leg. Just get everything nicely spaced. So it looks good. Ta-da! And then uh, someone was asking earlier today about like when do you make triangles? This is a very good example of when you would want triangles. Magic cheater tool. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I always put some triangles right in the groin here because it's easy. And I can just do that. And voila, now we've got the shape of the object to conform uh, to the leg. Easy. Okay, one more circle. Of eight. Put it right there. Now, this one's a little different. It's still the same kind of deal. So let's take this, extrude it. And what we'll do is just actually connect them, even though this looks weird. Then we'll take one edge, one side, we'll rip it, move it back. And we can connect them here like this, bridge, cut, bam. If I wanted to, and I think I do in this case, I want to add one more cut so I can make the loop around the knee if I need any more resolution after this. Done. And we'll use this. We'll do the same method on the back right here. Uh, again, because it's easy. <laughs> and I'm lazy. Duplicate, apply. And I'm regularly going to apply my shrink wrap um, just to ensure when I do something like this, it doesn't behave oddly when I use the slide relax tool or any of these other tools. Thank you. 
Teach me. Hello, raccoon. Welcome, welcome. We are teaching some stuff. We're doing a little re retopology right now. Getting everything uh, all set up for our quest avatar we're working on as a client commission. But hello, hello, welcome. Now we're doing pretty good. Only at 1,000 right now. Okay, so we're making a little sweater for him. He's just cozy. Excuse me. Just a cozy little guy. Um, right now I have the Bika separate. The face really isn't done yet though, so I think I'll leave that alone. I still need to do a little bit more sculpting on the face um, <clears throat> for our toes though. I'm gonna separate them or clear, clear parent and keep transform. Then I'm gonna take these toes, make them a single user object data. Uh, mesh them, mesh these ones too, combine them with our main dealio, and then uh, remesh. The lamb had lots of detail. How many tries did it end up having after the retopo? Let me smooth that there. Uh, the lamb had, oh, that's with the clothing hidden, 60,188. So pretty good, pretty good. A lot of the um, curves and stuff, it, they weren't like one to one. A lot of it's actually texture on the curls. It looks like there's more than it is, just because we've we've baked it. Um, like you can tell it's a lot messier looking just in the geometry view. But once you turn on that um, texture, it looks a lot nicer. Yeah, sixty thousand. So we even had seven, a ten thousand to spare, because uh, we were shooting for uh, a medium ranking on PC. VR chat. Well, a lot less than I would think. Baking is crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy. It takes some getting used to, but it feels very worth it uh, when you get that all that detail compressed. It's a very satisfying feeling. Look weird. Is that a mask? Oh, okay, it was masked. That looks odd. There we go. Back to the retopo. And you guessed it, we're gonna make a circle of eight. Turn off the shrink wrap. That's more than eight. Circle of eight. Bam, shrink. There, and there. Okay, 
This one will be a little trickier. I think what we'll do is we'll take this edge, move it all the way over here. And again, this is another great benefit of knowing how much your loops are and using another loop. It's the same because I know in order to connect this one to this one, I just need to make the same amount of cuts I see on the side, which is three. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. I can delete this one there. Okay, we'll line them up a little bit nicer. Like so, and bridge. Um, let's go to, I'm going to apply that, go to sculpt mode again, because I want to move the topology over a little bit like this. And I'm just clicking and dragging this one. I'm not hitting shift, but I will in a second. I just want to scooch it over first and then make it even. Alrighty. And then we take this edge, this edge, grid fill. Let's extrude it a little bit so we can get the tip. There we go. Alright, and then just bam, bam. We want this side to be there. We're just organizing it by sides. Dun, 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 dun. This is the front. Back, or right, back. There we go. Now, I don't know how I'm going to connect these, but I do know that I want this to connect right here. So I'm just going to shoot those down, bridge them, do wait, apply, and then connect them. Bam. Easy. All right, now we got to think about these them toes, them grippers. So, simple. We're going to uh, do it separately this time. I'm going to make this a circle in here of eight, and then I'm going to separate it so I can work with it on its own. And I know that we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to do 8 as my base resolution for a cylinder. Right. I'll do the big toe first. And then we'll just copy and paste them afterwards. Big toe first. Bam. Thank you. 
to duplicate and apply. Cut there, cut there. We'll get a little bit more resolution on the knuckle. Different way, I'm gonna hide this little toenail. Extrude one more time. And Q, grid fill, and extrude for tip. Ta-da! One more cut. Bam. All right, that looks pretty good. Now to make the uh, knuckle have a little bit more resolution, just gonna grab this, extrude, shrink it down. That way it'll bend a little bit more. And I don't really wanna do that to anything else. Just do it to that one. And I think that looks good. All right. Let's hide these other toenails. Take this whole thing, duplicate it. Disable the view on the shrink wrap. And we're just gonna line it up as best we can. And we know it's gonna work pretty well because we already made it with the sculpture in a very similar way. Turn on trick wrap. Bam. Anyway, I hope this helps. It's now really kind of more of the, or less the same process. But uh, let me know if you have any questions about retopology. It's really just about deciding what you're going to work with. What's your cylinder resolution? All right, then we'll take these, combine them, apply the first shrink wrap, and select our other retopo, and now we have them all in one. Easy peasy. First thing we know we want to do is connect the sides. Now, I don't want this topology going up the leg. I want it to connect evenly connect all the same sides to each other. So to do that, I'll put a cut right here. Then take this edge, boom, 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 bridge. This edge, boom, 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 bridge. And rinse and repeat, we'll do the same thing. Bridge. I just want the sides to work together. All right. And then on the bottom, pretty simple. Boom, boom. But this one would be a little bit goofy. <laughs> I know that I want the this side to connect to the main one. So we'll close this up here and here, because I know I want those connected. And we don't want the additional geometry from the tubes to go up the leg but we want it to connect nicely to something else, so we'll have it loop into itself. Like this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Why do you 
even be able to actually collapse these. I don't like that though. This looks good. Boom. We'll do one more in order to connect this one to this one. Bridge again, cut again, bam. Boom. Okay. And lastly, what I'd like, I don't really want a triangle in this case. So we'll just do there, do a cut down the middle. And at center, and at center, and voila, look at that. Easy, easy-ish. All right, retopoed. Okay. Uh, excuse me. So doing good. We're already well into our budget though for the character. We have 15,000. Can't go above 15,000. We're already at 3,000, which is one fifth of our entire budget. Um, Let's look at the rest of the body really quick. So our tail here, we're using a subdivision for this. Um, so I'm just gonna duplicate it, send the duplicate into the retopo. This one, get rid of the uh, material. And turn down the resolution. So not as crazy, I'm just blocking, identifying what we are going to be using. Uh, claws will want to take over. Uh, not on the hands, we're not finished sculpting the hands yet. So we'll take these ones, duplicate them, move them over to retopo. And on these ones, I will first make this one single user with the object data. Then let me just get rid of the subdivision. Triangulate the tip. Maybe bring this in just a little. That's basically going to be our claw. Um, then for these other ones, get rid of the subdivision. And then point them at the main toe here and say object link object data. So now when I adjust this one, they all adjust, which makes UV mapping them a lot easier. All right. What else? We got another 20 minutes, and then I'll be calling it for the stream. Might as well just start working on the face. Yeah, we're going to take the sculpture here, all transforms. I don't want to remesh it with this body, but I will combine it for now. 
and turn on retail again. And let's get crazy. Got to really optimize for quest wow. Yes, it is definitely. Um, <laughs> it's it's almost as more challenging in some ways. And then less challenging in others. Really depends. Let's take these spikes. Hit them. So, you guessed it, we're going to make a side. This side. Top side. Then we'll just connect these, cut them. All right. Definitely need more resolution than this, though, so I'll do two more cuts. Sorry to pop my fingers. Um, this is gonna be wild. Not really sure I'm gonna do the beak. Well, I combine, it'll still have to all be one mesh, so let's do it. For the eye, I want eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So that should be eight. It is. I might bevel these in order to have higher resolution. And also I would want one of these to be in the middle. Hmm. Not quite enjoying that. We'll come back to that one. <clears throat> one of the hardest things I've ran into in the beginning, it's having to lose detail in a mesh I've spent hours sculpting when I eventually retopo. Took me a long time to find out baking even existed. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those things that I feel like the hardest thing about this kind of work is like, if you don't know, you don't know. It's such a weird thing to say, but it's like, you just kind of have to find out and like there's so many things especially like blender tutorials and this and that where it's like you either are lucky enough to stumble across a tutorial or you just like eventually figure out <laughs> that there's other ways to do it <laughs> that there are nicer ways to do it. True. Hello, Bardo. Welcome. I will add additional cut right there and right here. We've got two additional cuts we did not have before. I'll do with one more right there. For now, we'll leave it though. Let's just do it. Right. Okay. The face is probably the only spot I'll go higher resolution on. Very much. Hello. Welcome. One thing that really helps me learn and expand my art is asking, what is the easiest way I might do this? And then searching it out. Now I found someone made a tool just like that. Well, <laughs> fair. <laughs> yeah, I do use uh, AutoRig Pro. 
um, a lot, which has really sped up my, my rigging process um, because I can share a lot of stuff I make between my avatars, like uh, vice seams and you know, shape keys, that kind of thing. Um, that's helped a lot. We're going to delete that because now this is going to be the corner of a mouth. I'm going to take these. Straight them over here. Boom, boom. Let's apply this one, duplicate, apply. Like, uh, yeah, transferring mesh data. Um, that's such a great add-on. I don't know if you, the mesh data transfer, if you all use that. It's the best, it's the best. I love it so much. saved me many, many hours worth of work. Should be a little bit closer to the edge right there. I don't want to, because it is a beak, I don't think we'll need it to move to be quite as flexible as lips. It is a beak, so. How long have you been using Blender and how did you, I learn to use it? Um, I got serious about Blender about like three to four years ago. Uh, before then, I'd, I'd known a little bit of it doing concept art and like painting. That's what I was using it for at the time. Um, but once I realized I could use it for VR chat, it was kind of, uh, I didn't, I never looked back. <laughs> then I was, that's what I was all about. Um, so yeah, I would say uh, about three to four years to really get used to it, though. A lot of this stuff, I just kind of, I didn't learn it in the fastest way possible. Uh, hello, Shatter. Welcome. And then, uh, but it was YouTube. YouTube and then just uh, going around to like di VR chat discords and things like that. That really helped. That was really the main way. Well, hello, Shadow. Welcome. How's your day going? We're working on Crow Man. I'd say there's a lot of good resources out there. And uh, I'm going to pr promo myself a little bit, but I am planning on making a course uh, by the end of like two months from now. I'd like to, for it to be sooner than that, but that's probably how long it'll take me um, to do, to teach pretty much everything. Like I don't mind teaching stuff during my stream and I will continue to do that, but uh, certainly it can't all fit in one stream. So I think I'll, I'll try to make a course that, that people can buy and learn from what I'm doing. Um, but definitely feel free to come by, ask questions, uh, pick my brain. <laughs> All right, beak. Not bad. Was that therapy for most of it? Oh, nice, nice. Well, that it sounds hopefully good. You know, nice relaxed time 
Cathar- catharsis. That's important stuff. I do that myself. I would definitely get a course made by you. Thank you, Nanners. Well, I appreciate it. Or Nanners. I want to say Nanners, but it's Nanners. <laughs> I relate to that. People call me Samners, so. We're like siblings almost. <laughs> But thank you. I do appreciate that. All right, we're going to try the eye socket one more time. And I have about 10 more minutes streaming. Um, but I will be back tomorrow. Thank you all. There's a lot of new people hanging out with me. And I certainly appreciate that. Uh, definitely hit that follow or subscribe. Because uh, I will be ending the stream soonish. Um, but I stream every every weekday. <laughs> Thank you, Bart, for the subscription. Super appreciated. <laughs> I, I turned it up too loud. Scared myself. Uh, I get that a lot too, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll do this. This is the top. I think I'm going to make them 16. Torn on that, but I think I have to. I don't think there's any other way. Otherwise, it's going to be a little low resolution. I mean, this isn't bad. I can always bevel it later. So let's do it with just this for now, and then we'll we'll do a bevel later if I need more. This is eight. At least we're going to do one set of cuts. So that should be 12 now. Yeah, 12. Thank you for the stream, man. Thank you, Barry. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we need to look at your network this weekend. Absolutely. Oh, is it starting to lag again? Dang. Yeah, it looks like it took a dump just now. Um, all right, well, I'll probably end it pretty soon then because it's definitely, definitely going to get laggy from here on out. You know, the man doesn't want me teaching VR chat. FBI's like, there's too many furries. This gap is quite ginormous. Okay, one more loop here, extrude, grow, and then I'll call it right after this. I just want to finish the head, and then we'll, we'll move on. Bam. Might need another cut there. Why why is it lagging? Why is it like we need more for <laughs> For some reason, it really wanted to go into this other object and it's calculation. Let the grow.
So close. We've done one, two, three. Or, no, yeah. One, two. I could close this, but I don't think I will. Uh, I, I probably will change my mind on that, but oh well. Bridge. It's a lot of resolution in the face. Um, but we can just push this all this way. Hello, Freya baby, welcome. You caught us just at the end of the stream. It is going well. We're working on this crow man right now. But I will be wrapping up the stream in just a moment. It's very laggy right now. Uh, because my internet sucks. So. But I hope you're having a good day and thanks for coming by. All right, pretty much got the whole character rigged at this point. Or uh, retopoed. Re Making really good progress. For a quest avatar, we are flying through this. Afraid to hit this too hard with the relax tool. Okay, perfect. It is time to end the stream. Thank you everyone for hanging out. I know it's super laggy right now, but I super appreciate y'all chilling with me, seeing what I'm up to. A lot of new people here, a lot of new people hanging out, and I really appreciate that. I hope you all have an amazing Wednesday. I will be back tomorrow for another full day of streaming. Uh, do you normally leave out the inside of the mouth until after retopology. I have recently changed what I do where I'll actually sculpt a mouth cavity and do the full thing in one go. I found that that gives me the best results uh, with the least amount of having to tweak it later. Um, so I do create a sculpture for the inside of the mouth and uh, uh, then it bakes really, really, really nice. That's what I did for this, this latest character. Um, but if I don't, if you don't get that answer, Namers, uh, definitely follow up with me on Discord. I certainly wouldn't mind uh, reaching out. Uh, I'll go ahead and type that in. Uh, heading out. I know it's laggy. Um, feel free to reach out on Discord if you have any questions. Um, yeah, hopefully you get that answer. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream now. Much love to all of you. I'll catch you all very soon. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Bye.